Hey everyone, I am here to give you an introduction to PictoChart, which is a graphic tool that helps you create beautiful documents and visual media easily with absolutely no design experience. For this overview, we'll be focusing primarily on infographics, but you can also use this tool to create presentations, posters, reports, flyers, and social media assets. So once you create an account and you're on the dashboard, you're first going to click on infographics. You'll notice that from this screen, you can either create an infographic from a blank template or choose from one of their pre-built templates for you. These templates are fully customizable with the ability to change text, images, and colors. And you'll notice that there's a wide variety of templates to choose from. When you like a template, you hover over it and you choose use template. From here, you are brought to a place where you can edit your template to fit what you want to do with it. So I just want you to notice that the way that this looks right now, the color scheme used, the layout used, and then I'm going to show you how I customized it for my project. So this infographic here is the same template that I customized with imagery from my shop program, the color scheme of my school, information about my shop program, and also a little bit more information and graphics that I switched out to meet the look that I was looking for. Keep in mind that PictoChart is a free tool and it also offers pay for features. So it only allows you to create five visuals on a free plan, but it may be worth it to you if you're going to use PictoChart for a lot of things to upgrade to Pro, because not only do you get unlimited visuals, but you also get access to other features as well. PictoChart offers you a lot of different tools to help with your project. Uh, let's start with the graphics tool. It has a few different subsets. Uh, first is the shapes icons, uh, which is basically like a clip art uh, from Microsoft, uh, but it gives you a ton of different graphic elements that you can use uh, on your project. Also offers you these illustrations, uh, which are basically just little characters doing some little actions. A lot of nurses and doctors up at the top of the page, but as you scroll down, you see people standing, waving, walking, uh, just something to liven up your presentation. Okay. You have the option to add your own lines. Uh, and if you're looking for the perfect photo, you can search the Unsplash directory to find the perfect stock image for you. And when you do find that image, you can put it in a really artsy frame. Okay. Get an image in an oval, a, a rounded corner, maybe a triangle, whatever helps your project stand out. Of course, if you think you have an image that works better than the stock images, you can always click upload and uh, upload it from your device. Uh, the cool thing about PictoChart is that it comes with a lot of pre-made assets. And if we click design components, uh, we can see lists, timelines, and comparisons all ready to go for you. And the best part about this is that each asset is fully customizable. If we click on one added to our chart, as long as we click uh, right click and hit ungroup, Every text box, every image, every number on here becomes fully editable. So we can change this template to fit our needs. We can also change the background if we want, either changing the color or uh, we can add a nice little uh, design to it. If we want diagonal lines, we can do that. If not, we can just go back to no background. Uh, you can also add your own text boxes. But if you're not really feeling creative, uh, it comes with these pre-designed text frames as well. You can put a nice little uh, sticky note on this, type in your own message, and add it to your presentation. Uh, it does seem that you can create your own color schemes, uh, but that feature is locked behind a paywall. Even without that, though, there is still a lot you can do with PictoChart. All the way at the bottom of your list of activities that you could use is tools. Here you'll have some fun visuals, data, and videos to maximize your picto chart. First, if I want to add a chart, there are multiple ways that you could do it. When you um, have a chart, you can just type in data all if, on your own if you'd prefer, or you can insert your own chart. When you go to dynamic data, there are explanations of how you can insert your own information off of Google Sheets. You can copy this, your link. 
simply insert it and all of that data is in there and it's showing visually on your graph. And you get to choose which graph that makes the most sense for your data as you scroll through and see how those different options look. When you insert a map, you can choose your map based on your country or the region that you would like to look at. Once you've selected your map, you can edit it uh, mostly for coloring purposes. So if I wanted to specifically highlight the United States, I can change the color and I can pick a color that perfectly matches with the rest of the theme of my Picto chart. Lastly, videos, just keep in mind uh, the videos, you are limited to what videos are supported. But once you pick a YouTube video, you can just copy that link insert it and now you have a great screen and a great visual for your video once your picto chart is completed at the very top you have options to preview so you know what your viewers are seeing you can download it um, you can download it as a png for free and you can download it as one long sheet or as individual slides and then you can share it it will give you a shareable link or you can right away share it to your social media, such as Twitter. Don't forget your hashtag. Our team came up with some great resources here. Everything from getting started, incorporating PictoChart in your classroom, and then even a quick article comparing the different types of infographic websites that are available to us.